Okay, so it's August 17th. It's a Thursday. And I'm doing a update video on the red truck because now that I'm back from vacation, I gotta start working on it. I gotta have it done by 17th of September, I believe, is when I need the truck. But I don't know if you can hear that rumble, but that's the truck running. Um, I think I mentioned that I wasn't going to work on the truck until we got the lights fixed in the barn from where they kept going on and off. Well, we got one light to work. The other two are doing their off and on thing. So, we got to order new lights because the parts that we didn't solve the problem and we don't know what the problem is. But, I want to take you over here to the truck and, uh show you what I've done. We got the exhaust off, so now I can hear what it sounds like straight pipes. All right, there's your little taste of the straight pipe truck. Um, the muffler's got a hole in the bottom of it. And I got a straight pipe for it out here that's going to be put on it. Over there in the weeds. But we have, we took the exhaust off right there because it's going to be in the way of getting the transmission out. And if you noticed... Transmission still in it. Um, this coming weekend, we're hoping to get it out. So, for the update for the truck, is that I still haven't done nothing to it. Um, I gotta get out of this barn before I suffocate. Good thing we don't have any animals in here anymore. grab a water but the this weekend we're hoping to get the truck taken care of at least get the transmission out and I'll leave that light on because I gotta go back here and check the goat but we'll get that transmission out Get it rebuilt, put back in. Like I said, I need the truck for the 17th of September. Actually, before that. And, um... Uh... What was I going to say? Uh, we got to get new lights, but... Like I said, we're not going to have time to put them in and get the transmission out. We're just going to have to do it with the lights that we have. And... Another little thing, the uh, still haven't got the baler put away from when I washed it. I'm slacking. Just lazy, I guess. Um, I guess this will just be kind of like a farm update. Because well, it's not really a big truck update. And, but I got to go in here and 
Let's see where Dummy got out at. <laughs> Make sure he got out in the spot that they said he got out in. Where'd you get out, Dummy? You're causing all kinds of hey, quit eating the phone. You're causing all kinds of problems while I'm away. You gotta cut that off of there. But yeah, this is just a little update video. Um, still haven't sold Betty. Uh, the red truck is about due for a transmission. It's getting really hard to drive around in it because it vibrates so much and it slips. And um, if anybody, uh, well, I'm looking for a dually. Is what I'm looking for either an older Ford like a 95 um, same body style as mine OBS Fords I'm looking for a, a 7.3 diesel dually or any Dodge dually any year Dodge dually pretty much except I don't want the first gen or the second gen the more round body style uh, they had them from like 95 to 03 or 04. I would take a first gen or anything after that. If anybody uh, knows of one, not too far away from me, like within a couple states or two. I'm in Ohio, so Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Kentucky, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, West Virginia. Even down by you, Scotty Rock, um, I'd go down there. Um, let me know. Diesel, preferably 4x4, and a manual. But I want to get that to replace the red truck and Betty. Betty's still for sale if anybody uh, interested in Betty. So, um, it's not that I don't like Betty. It's just she's too cumbersome to move around if it had power steering maybe she'd be worth keeping but with her being that long and no power steering she's quite the bear to drive and pulling trailers with her backing them in would be a real pain um, so let me open my water here oh boy that's good so, I do want to do one thing, though, while I'm thinking about it. Um, when I was down there in North Carolina talking to Scotty Rock and Soybean Farmer, um, we were talking about soybeans, of course, and, the, uh, and corn and the different growing season it seems like they have down there. Because I noticed corn was already coming off down there, and it's the 17th of August, which it's coming off in Kentucky, i seen... Through uh, big tractor, big tractor power. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, his video, and up here, the corn's not ready, and the beans are far out. But down there, where soybean farmer is, their corn's off before beans are even thinking about coming off. And here, our beans are off before um, the corn even thought about coming off, and our beans are planted later corn's planted first but we plant longer maturity corn I think and uh, lower maturity beans but I thought I would come back here and show off the beans at our place now this is a 15 acre field that we rent out and this is where the this is the field that the gleaner harvest was filmed in with the corn But down there, that way, the beans were much taller. Right, let me see if I can do a good. I better carry that with me. I'll lose it. Let me get out here to where the stand's more even. Come out here into these beans, and let me. Can I flip the camera around while I'm recording? Whoa! What was that? I have no idea what that was. I can't flip the camera around. Uh-oh, the battery's dying, so I have to make this quick. But the beans, I don't know if you can see. 
my waist is here where the water bottle is. So they're almost weight high, and I think down there they were even taller. And I can't even see what I'm doing because the screen went dark. But they got uh, flowers on them, some bean pods. I don't know what kind of soybeans these are. Like I said, it's rented out. Um, so he plants them, and I used to help take them off when the gleaner was running. I loved combine. It's my favorite thing. I'd do it every day of the week if I could. I like taking off corn. One of my favorite crops to watch getting taken off the wheat. I don't know why. But I just like watching it. Oats too. We don't do much oats in our area. That's one thing I want to do though because I feed that to the goats. So, I'll get that all crop going. I'm going to start planting oats. And, uh, doing rye, too. One, for the straw. And then, two, for the seed. A lot of guys up here plant rye for a cover crop. And I was talking to a little bit about it to a soybean farmer. Because he planted the wheat. And he was doing it more for a cover. Get organic matter in there. And I brought up rye to him. But, uh, cause rye, it'll get six foot tall and have a heck of a, leave a heck of organic matter. But a lot of guys up here plant rye for a cover crop. And the one guy down the road actually this year harvested it and kept the seed. So, I got, uh, a 15 pound bag I bought. Or not a, a 50 pound bag, I only paid 15 bucks for it, but. I'll do rye. Cause I need it for the straw for that straw project and uh, maybe sell some seed or whatnot so but there's a little farm update um, oh, somebody's yelling over there yeah that's the farm update uh, hopefully I'll get video this weekend of the truck coming apart so uh, thanks for watching I'll give you guys a little bonus video. I'll feed some sweet corn to it. Got some sweet corn here that we didn't get cooked up. Watch the goats fight over that. Some corn, goat. You want some little goat? Hey, now that's my hand. Lily's in there rolling the roost. She doesn't want to come out, I guess. I gotta feed them, though. <laughs> There's your little bonus footage of the goats eating some sweet corn. 